Hey guys, welcome back to all about Google Maps series from Coding Stuff. And till now we have covered a few videos here. And in the first video we have talked about how we can integrate Google Map in Android Studio. Then in the second part uh, we learn how we can change the Google Map type. So from hybrid to satellite, from satellite to other uh, types of the Google Map. Then in the third part uh, we learn how we can uh, customize the Google Map UI settings. And then in the fourth part, we learn how we can apply custom styles on the Google map. And then in the previous video, we learn how we can add a marker on the Google map with all of uh, its properties. So in case if you want to watch this video, link is in the i button and also in the description box. So save this playlist and do subscribe as this series will consist more than 25 videos, which will include multiple Google maps APIs, Google places APIs and Google direction APIs. So now in this video, we will learn how we can add a custom marker on the Google map. So for that, I will jump to the Android studio and this is the custom style and these are the markers that we added in the previous video and we change their colors and we learn uh, all of these properties that marker provide. So now uh, what I will do, I'll just uh, remove these things. Cool. So now we are in the on map ready callback uh, which we got from the get map async when we pass this here. So we got this overridden function in which we get the reference of the Google map. So cool. I'll also remove this a uh, lot long second. Okay. So now uh, first we'll run the app and then we'll work on the custom marker. Cool. So we got our application installed and add, as you can see, there is no marker when I'm zooming it out. Cool. So our map is clear. We have no marker here. So in order to have a custom icon on our marker, what we need to do first, uh, we just will just create one marker option similar like a previous video. So marker options and this will be equals to marker options with uh, empty constructor and then marker option. We'll use the position property. Now uh, we'll use setter for it and in this setter, we will pass the lat long that we created earlier. So lat long. Cool. And then we'll just add this marker on the Google map. So map dot add marker. And here we'll pass our marker option. And if we try to run the app, uh, we'll get a simple icon. Uh, when we run the app, we got this simple icon of the marker, which is a default marker. So in the previous video, we also learn how we can change the color of this a default marker but now in this video what we'll do uh, I have added one drawable file here which is this location so we'll add this uh, icon on this marker so let's just uh, jump back to the main activity and here what we need to do we need to use marker options dot icon function or a setter and here we will use bitmap descriptor factory dot we have few functions here so we'll use from bitmap but uh, we need to uh, convert our drawable file to the bitmap so i'll just call one function here git bitmap from drawable and here i will pass the reference id so r dot drawable dot location cool and then we'll create this function Cool. So this is not the location. This is resource ID. And let's just import the bitmap. Cool. So now I'll remove this to do. So now in this function, what I will do, uh, first of all, I'll create one val bitmap and this will be of type bitmap, which will be nullable. So initially we will assign it a null value. And we'll just uh, return this bitmap at the bottom. Cool. And now uh, in order to convert the drawable into bitmap, first we need to get the drawable from this resource ID. So for that, I'll create one val which will be drawable. And this will be equals to, uh, we will use resource compact here. So resource compact dot get drawable. And here we need to pass three parameters. First is the, first is the resource and then resource ID and then the theme. 
So for resources, we'll use the resources from uh, or the get resources, then the rest ID, and then as a theme, I'll pass null here. Cool. So we got our bit uh, drawable here. So this can be nullable. So we'll have a null check here. So if drawable is not equals to null, then uh, we will re reinitialize our bitmap. So bitmap, this will be equals to bitmap dot create bitmap. And here uh, we will specify width and height. So 150, 150. And then uh, we need to provide a config here. So bitmap dot config dot uh, we will use this argb8881 so now as we created bitmap uh, we also need to create one canvas in order to draw so I'll, I'll create one val canvas and this will be equals to canvas and we'll pass the bitmap here in the constructor of the canvas then we'll use our drawable so drawable dot uh, we'll use set bounds function so set bounds here I'll pass a uh, zero from the left and zero from the top and for the right I'll use canvas width so canvas dot width and canvas dot height cool and then we just need to draw it so drawable dot draw on this canvas cool and then uh, we will just uh, return this bitmap so yeah cool this is how you can add a custom icon to your marker so let's just try to run the app and we'll see how our marker looks now so yeah as you can see our application is installed and we got this custom icon on our marker so yeah this is how you can add a custom marker on the google map and let me do one thing here i uh, also want to set some title and snippet so title will be let's say location and then i'll use snippet and let's just say this is my location and i'll rerun the app cool so here we got our custom marker and if i click on it i'll get a default info window which is a location and this is my location as a snippet or a description to this text so in the next part uh, what we will do we will learn how we can create a custom info window instead of this default info window because we can have different kind of data and it is difficult to set here we just got a uh, one title and one description so so sometime it might not be enough so yeah do subscribe for the next video and thank you for watching